It wasn't four months, you know. What? It was four months up here, but down there... I don't know, time's different. It was more like 40 years. My God. They, uh... They sliced and... carved... and tore me in ways that you... until there was nothing left. And then suddenly, I would be whole again, like magic. Just so they could start in all over. God does sends people to hell, but God is not the one torturing them. To torture someone means to be actively be involved in the action of inflicting pain. But God does not do this, the Bible never describes hell as torture. The Bible says, those who are delivered into hell will be tormented, and the degree to, which they will suffer is described in dramatic, illustrative language. But, the scripture never describes hell as a place, where God or his angels are actively torturing the souls of the rebellious. Hell is described as a place of torment, which is the anguish one experiences, from being separated from the love of God. And those in hell have made their choice, and do not ask to get out. And they are tormented there due to the consequences of their sin and their rejection of God. What non-believers do not understand is that forcible separation from the love of God is the worst thing, that can befall any soul. There is nothing more to be done, nothing, that could increase the pain that such a soul would experience. By the same token, there is nothing to be done that would lessen the pain, no way to make separation from the source of all that is good more bearable. The separation that he imposes, just though it is, is a horrible thing indeed. But it is not torture, it is the nature of things. Torture is a sadistic activity that is often perpetrated for the mere joy of it. Torment results from a choice on the part of the person who finds himself or herself suffering the consequences. One can be in constant torment over a decision made in the past, without being actively tortured by anyone. 